hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel and my class so i hope you are uh, you are watching my classes and uh, these classes may be useful the useful for the uh, students and some others also so now let us see uh, problems on resolution of vectors in the last class we have seen uh, problems on angle of vectors okay somehow only some amount of uh, some a little bit of problems we have solved in the previous class now let us see a uh, more uh, number of problems so first problem a force of 10 newton is resolved into the perpendicular compounds the first component makes 30 degrees with the force the magnitude of the components are here options are given so this is very very important for uh, a uh, neat J E and M Z also. So please continue to continue to watch. And first option is five newton, five newton. Second option is five root two newtons and five newtons. Uh, five root three newtons and five newtons. Ten newtons and uh, ten root three newtons. These are the two components of the answers. Let's see. Okay, solution. Let us solve the solution. So a force of ten newton is resolved into the perpendicular. Let us consider. So this is a force. This is the how much it is 10 newton force okay uh, resolved into the two perpendicular components these are the two perpendicular components so if the if it is force uh, the component are divided into two components components are two horizontal component and vertical component this is a f cos theta and this is f sin theta yes or no okay here what angle so compound makes 30 degrees with the force okay this is angle with the force nothing but with the initial or x axis we have to take it that is what 30 degrees so that we can simply call it as this is f cos 30 degrees and this is f sin 30 degrees these are the two components then we have to find the magnitude of the components are first okay uh, how many components are there? That is horizontal component and vertical component. First one let us solve horizontal. That is F cos 30 degrees. Okay. So which is we can simply write it as. Okay. F nothing but what? F nothing but 10. And cos 30 degrees. Cos 30. Okay. So that we know that root 3 by 2. So this is 2 1 the 2 5 the. So here we have to. Uh, cancel cos because we have taken cos 30 value then this is what 5 root 3 so this is force uh, measures in yes. this is a horizontal component that is 5 root 3 okay na? which is answer and this might be the answer okay na? because remaining we have to find and second one is what f sin 30 degrees that is f nothing but 10 that is okay uh, <coughs> force and uh, sine nothing but sine 30 that is 1 by 2 we know that 2 1s are 2 5 the. that is what 5 newtons yes so 5 root 3 newtons and 5 newtons is the answer okay thank you next let us see next se second question okay so second question is a car makes a displacement of 100 meters towards east eh? then 200 meter towards north uh, find the, the magnitude and direction of the resultant the given options are like this that is 223.7 meters uh, tan inverse 2 that is northeast direction 223.7 meters tan inverse east and north direction and the 300 meter tan inverse 2 northeast direction 100 meters this is magnitude okay and this is the direction tan inverse uh, 2 that is north of east or northeast so these are the options which is correct let's see so solution so a car makes let us uh, draw the diagram like this uh, so I am taking a this is east so that this is north south okay no? east and west this is very easy process a car is making a Okay, some displacement from here okay that is 100 meters okay direction is like this towards east after uh, 
uh, after having displacement of alpha meter towards east then it is moving towards the north and making 200 meters towards north okay now find the magnitude and direction of the resultant how can we find the resultant if it is a vector this is a one vector this is head of the vector and this is tail of the vector when head of the one vector tail of the another vector after adding so we cannot get the resultant vector so so that i am extending this vector in this way this is east so after extending in this way now this becomes a okay na a tail and this becomes head so we are adding the two vectors of displacements okay na with respect to tails tail and tail then we can get the like this resultant vector this is the resultant vector resultant vector so in which direction it is east time east time the north okay na so that is north east direction okay na north east direction north east okay half of the answer already we solved that is north east here also north east which is a uh, correct let's see okay so this is a vector we can uh, simply write it as we have to find the first one magnitude to uh, to uh, find the magnitude uh, we will discuss that is uh, resultant vector r bar is equals to okay na the magnitude of the okay na the magnitude the formula for the magnitude of the resultant vector r parallelogram that is what so this is uh, we can say rx i cap okay rx square plus ry square like this yes or no so what are the rx and r so here rx nothing but what 100 meters or y nothing but 200 meters that is 100 square plus okay na no? 200 square square root. now so 100 square we can write as 10 power 4 plus 200 square nothing but 200 into 200 that is 2 to the 4 into double zero into double zero that is 10 power 4 I am taking 10 power 4 is. I am taking 10 power 4. When are the 10 power 4 uh, is coming outside becomes 10 power 2 from the root. Okay, so that is so one. There is a one. Okay, plus and this is a four because we have taken common the same term we have uh, got it 10 power 4 from the root outside. Okay, that is 10 power 2 and root 5. so that we can say that is 100 root 5 so this is 100 okay we know that and what is the value of 100 uh, sorry what is the value of root 5 100 into root root 5 value is 2.237 yes or no okay we know that uh, root 4 value is 2 okay na root 9 value is uh, 3 and root 2 value we know and root 3 value you know that is 1.732 1.414 root 2 value root 3 value 1.732 what is the root 5 value that is 2.237 okay then 100 into 2.237 223.7 meters okay 223.7 meters okay which is this is the magnitude that is r only r okay or is the magnitude of the resultant so to find the to find the direction so this is what angle this is what angle between the uh, uh, this horizontal vector to the resultant vector okay to find the direction we how to we how to go through the angle of the resultant vector angle that already we have tan theta is equals to R Y by R X. Yes or no? Okay. Theta is equals to tan inverse R Y by R X. R Y by R X values already we have there. Okay, it is there already. R Y nothing but 200. R X nothing but 100. Gets cancelled and equal tan inverse 2. Direction is what? In this direction, north east direction. North east direction. 
so that this option is correct okay now let's see third question okay the third question is <coughs> if a vector has an x component of 25 units and y components of 40 units then find the magnitude and direction of this vector okay you are following uh, options are there so which one is correct whether it is okay this one this one this one okay four options are there let's see okay let us solve the problem first then after let's go through the uh, options if a vector has an x component of 25 units let us take a x component that is 25 units and the y component is 40 40 units 40 units then find the yes if it is vector direction then resultant is in this way resultant is in this way okay and this is the angle okay that angle we have to find and this magnitude we have to find then answer will be close so first uh, magnitude magnitude of the resultant vector that is we know that r is equals to rx square plus ry square in the square root okay this is rx and this is ry so actually this is a, on x axis there is a ik vector and uh, on y axis there is a j cap vector that is rx i cap ry j cap in this manner okay so after taking this this formula will we generally use okay shortcut i'm doing so <coughs> rx nothing but square root of rx nothing but 25 square plus ry nothing but 40 square then 25 square nothing but 625 40 square nothing but 40 into 40 4 4 is a 16 double zero yes then what is 625 plus 16 okay so this is 625 plus 16 uh right this is 5 and this is 6 okay uh this is what 22 22 that is 25 okay 22 this 22 25 how can we take the root values it is very difficult to take the root values or also we can simply go through the finding of root values otherwise we won't get answer here if you go through the finding of this root value we never get the answers as uh, answers given in the options let us divide okay this is 25 means uh, so this 25 always multiplied by 5 5 5 is a 25 and here coming 20 you know so 5 4 we have to take 5 4 is a 20 yes if you take a 5 5 is a 25 a 2 okay here 22 is there so that we have to take that is uh, 5 4 is a okay that is 4 4 yes okay 5 into 4 45 gives 20, double 2 Two five this value, okay. And again, I'm taking this uh, like this. So root forty, root four four forty five. How can we write? Okay, that we can write simply uh, eighty nine into five, and these five I'm writing here. Okay, then this is eighty nine five 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 zero. That is twenty five, or we can write pi square. Then uh, inside the square, inside the root, there is a pi square. If we take out, take it out, that is five becomes five. Yes, yes, we got five root eighty nine. So this is a magnitude. Okay, units. Okay, which one is there? So here five root eighty nine is there. Five root eighty nine is there. Okay, we have to find sine inverse or cos inverse. Okay, two options are there. So by finding like this, okay, next, uh, how can we find the angle? So if you take the uh, cos, let us take cos. Okay, cos theta is equal to what? By uh, dividing this into two components. Okay, this is what? 5 root 89. 5 root 
89 and this is uh, 25 this is 25 so this is a uh, angle if it is angle this is opposite at the end hypotenuse so cos theta nothing but at the end by hypotenuse that is what 25 by 5 root 89 5 root 89 so 5 ones are 5 5 are. so theta is first cos inverse that is 5 by root 89 okay so here what is the then find the magnitude and direction of the vector is so this is if 5 by 5 by cos inverse 5 by root 89 if you take a that will measure in anti clockwise direction if it is take minus 5 by root 89 in a clockwise direction nothing but with x axis with x axis this angle of resultant vector or okay resultant vector with x axis nothing but in a clockwise direction in clockwise always we have take negative sign that is negative sign okay so this is uh, theta is theta nothing but angle this angle always tells in a uh, angle with uh, the direction okay no? the uh, direction of resultant vector and the angle with x axis that is minus 5 by root 89 so which is answer 5 root 89 units cos inverse 5 by root 89 that is with x axis and 5 root 89 units sine inverse minus 5 by 89 units how let us check we have to check otherwise we will can okay gets confused now this opposite side by other side opposite how much 40 40 by 5 root 89 5 ones are 520s that is 20 by root 89 is there for sign so that it is not an answer and this is the answer okay so thank you so i'll give uh, some uh, problems to calculate uh, on your own so for the preparation of neat uh, j e and m set so that questions i will solve at your homes so thank you so much thank you for watching this class okay Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I forgotten uh, to give the homework problems to solve on your own. So, this is the fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. Three questions I have given for your uh, uh, at home. Uh, you can solve it. Two billion boards are moving on a table and the components' velocities along the length, length width are 5, comma 5 meter per second. For one ball, two root three, comma two meter per second. For other ball, the angle between the motion of the ball. Okay, so answer is there that you have to calculate how the answer is coming. So fifth one is if a ball equal to two i cap minus three j cap plus four cap, uh, its components in y z plane and z x plane are representatively. Okay, na? so that we have to find out y z plane and z x planes. Answers are here. And the sixth one a room has dimensionals 3 meters, 4 meters, and 5 meters. And a fly is trotting at one corner ends up at the diametrically opposite corner. And the magnitude of the displacement of the fly, okay, answer is 5 root 2 m. So please uh, calculate this and encourage uh, my channel and please watch regularly my classes so that uh, these uh, problems or classes may be, may be useful for the uh, aspirants okay, who are preparing for the uh, need JE and MCP.